Hello guys, Keeper on TV here, back for yet another match preview. In today's preview, I'm going to be previewing the game this Saturday, half 12 kickoff being played on Sky Sports, Middlesbrough versus Birmingham City. So let's get straight into the preview. We're going to be starting off with Middlesbrough first. Of course, they're managed by Neil Warnock. And since he's come in, they've had a brilliant, brilliant bounce. Um, and Neil Warnock has completely changed their season around. They're only one point off the playoffs, currently sitting in 7th position. The last five games, they've won two, lost one, won one, and their last game was in the FA Cup. So it wasn't a league game, but it was against a championship side in Brentford. They lost 2-1 in that game. Um, so, yeah, I mean, in them five games, their last five, they only played us like a week or two ago, beating us 4-1. Hopefully, um, there's, not a repeat, there's not a repeat of that. Um, this Saturday, Asambalonga is going to be a massive threat for them. I always mention Asambalonga. He always scores against us. Um, and I wouldn't be surprised if he does it again, to be honest. They've also got... Um, well, they've also got some decent players, haven't they, Middlesbrough? Um, it's going to be a really tricky game for us. Getting on to Blues, of course, we lost our last game 3-0 away to Manchester City. But we can take some pride in that, you know. The second half, we didn't concede any goals. Um, it finished 0-0 in the second half. Uh, I know that that's not how football works, but still, it was a it was a good performance in the second half. We didn't just you know we didn't just um, capitulate and concede about five or six goals. Um, so hopefully we can take that second half performance into the game against Middlesbrough this Saturday. The formation I would play is a four two three one formation, near leverage in goal, um, Clark, Salter, and Dean at the back. Mikasa, I'm, I don't really like Mikasa. I know so playing uh, at the back, you know. Left back, I would, I would, um, I'll probably start George Friend. You know, George Friend playing as a left back, Pedersen on the bench because George Friend played, he played all right, I guess, against Manchester City, especially in that second half. He was getting forward a lot. The right back, Colin, the two midfield, Kifton Bell, and Ivan Sunic. Um, the cam, I would, oh, I was gonna say I'll start Crowley, but he's gonna be, no, nah, I won't start Crowley in that cam role. I would um, probably start Halovic if Halovic is not fit. Then John Terrell, Sanchez. Bella and I don't think Hogan's after if it's true the rumours about Hogan and Crank having a bust up at half time in the game against Manchester City and Hogan refusing to play the second half. I think I think uh, Jukovic will start in this game, you know, against his former club. Middlesbrough versus Birmingham City, of course it's Ito Cranker's former club as well. And yeah, I am um, <sighs> I'm coming into this game, well, yeah, I don't know what I'm on about, but I think it'll be a 2-0 defeat, but I wouldn't be surprised if we pull a result out of the bag. It's half 12 kickoff, early on a Saturday, anything can happen, I guess, but we need to start winning games and fast. We are currently 19th now, and Nottingham Forest, I think they'll win their game against Millwall. I don't think Sheffield Wednesday are playing for COVID-19 reasons. I think their next two games have been postponed but yeah let me know in the comments what do you think the score will be we need to start getting victories it's been ages since we last won a game so hopefully we can go to Middlesbrough because normally do normally we wasn't ex well, we wasn't expected to beat Bristol City away we wasn't expected to beat Reading away I just clipped my finger there but we both but um we, we went there we went to Bristol City away and went to Reading away and got three points not just one got all three but Middlesbrough Another team fighting for promotion that we're going to be playing away from home. Hopefully we play in the green kit because that gives us good luck. But yeah, I'm going for a 2-0 defeat. I'm praying that I'm wrong because, like I said, we need points to get away from that bottom three. I don't want to be in League One next season. But I don't even know who... Sunderland, Hull City, yeah, them kind of teams. I mean, they got relegated and Sunderland, well, Sunderland in particular are finding it hard to come back up. Um, yeah, so this game, 2 0 defeat. What do you think? Let me know in the comments down below. It's been Keeper on TV. Make sure to like, share, and also subscribe to the channel. Anyway, keep on. See you later.